Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Nina Ribena's Art Journal Prompts and More. It's week four and the final week of this month's Inspired by Prompt and the challenge this week is Land and Sea. And I want you to think landscapes, forestscapes, seascapes, nautical themed pages and all of that kind of thing. I've chosen five artists for you to take your inspiration from um, this, this week. Three are modern day artists, two are past, Monet and Alfred Wallace. Monet has a mixture of seascapes and landscapes for you to choose from amongst other things. Alfred Wallace um, was a fisherman but then later in his later years became famous for his um, nautical themed quirky um, boat paintings. Absolutely lovely. Um, Kurt Jackson is seascapes and then we've got Osnat Zadok and Wolf Kahn. Um, Osnat Zadok has done seascapes and landscapes amongst other things and Wolf Kahn is famous he's 91 years old by the way is famous for his landscape so a real mix for you to choose from and lots of different styles amongst these artists as well i've opted to go for osnat zadok she is an, Isra is an israeli born canadian um artist um she started off by selling her artwork on ebay and then as she became famous she's had her artwork featured on television on prison break on wine labels and also in educational textbooks um, and these are very typical um, these three colours here of the colours that she uses in her artwork so my main colours this week are going to be the crimson red the blue turquoise and gold she uses lots of turquoise teals and golds in her artwork and I'm, then I'm going to be using ultramarine violet and Payne's grey just to add a little bit of detail to my page now I'm going to be working on my um, calendar page this month which I do in postcard size some of us are producing a calendar calendar for 2019 so I've been doing a calendar page each month this is a piece of mixed media paper and it measures six inches by four inches so a small piece um, this week so I'll let you watch my process video and I'll catch you at the end I've chosen Osnat Zadok for my inspiration this week and I'm opting to go for a seascape. I've never done any kind of landscape or seascape before so we'll see how I get on um, with this. I have just thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed the prompts this month and just been pushed outside of my comfort zone and trying art styles that I would never have attempted before. So you can see that I initially put down the horizon line. I'm just using some pearlescent gold paint here um, and then I just just want some gold um, to shine through the layers that I add later. So I'm just using um, a red here, um, a, a kind of crimson, and I'm just applying it with a makeup sponge um, just in the far right hand corner. You'll see me in a moment um, remove it with a damp baby wipe um, in the centre where the horizon line is, just so that you can see that gold uh, peeking through. The colours I'm using for this piece are very much inspired by the colours that Osnat uses in her artwork. She uses lots of teals and golds and, and reds and this piece um, I will admit to trying yesterday and I had a treescape in my mind and I got a third of the way through and the colours just started to look like a seascape and I could see um, a sunset and so I've decided to start my my piece again so I'm just building up my background at this stage and you'll see in a moment that I add some of that teal to the red and then I add some red to the teal and I introduce two more colors as well I introduce some violet and some ultramarine blue just to get some um, texture and color going on in my background and I'm just using cut up pieces of makeup sponge to apply my individual colours. I'm using a separate piece of sponge for each colour that I add.
Now, of course, a lot of that gold has disappeared um, with the layers that I've added. So I just want to bring a few highlights back. Um, so I'm again using my makeup sponge just to add a few touches of that gold. Now I want to unify and tone down my painting and so I'm adding more of the teal but this time I'm adding it with the tip, the flat tip of a palette knife and I'm just dragging a very very small amount of that paint across my page and just continuing to build up those layers. And at this stage, it's just like spreading butter, a very thin layer of butter. Now I want to build up some texture of waves um, for the sea in the bottom part of my painting. So I'm using the very tip of the palette knife this time um, and I'm using it sort of on the, on the edge um, and scraping the paint on rather than smoothly applying it this time and it's giving me a lovely wavy texture. Now I want to create a sunset and so I'm just adding some more of that crimson to the right hand side of the sky and you'll see me drag it across to the left as well and also add some um, to the sea as a reflection. And I just continue building up the layers in my painting. I'm adding some ultramarine blue now to the sea um, and I'll add some teal on top of this and I just continue with my palette knife until I'm happy with the look that I've got. I want to darken my horizon line. I'm trying to get that feeling of day turning to night and that sunset. Um, and I'm using some Payne's Grey. Black, I feel, would just be too heavy for this. So I'm just scraping some Payne's Grey across my horizon line, initially with my palette knife, and then I blend it out slightly using a very small, thin paintbrush. And I'm just finishing off my background with a few more of those gold highlights just to try and add some lightness and, and brighten that background.
I want to add some boats to my horizon line and I'm using pieces of cut up credit card store card to create my boats and again I'm using Payne's grey as opposed to black and just using various sizes of credit card and my spatula just to create the shapes. So here's my finished seascape. Um, I just continued playing with it until I was happy with it. I mean, I altered the shape of the sails because I hadn't got it quite right. So I just added some of the skyline back in and altered the shape. I think I added a bit more red as well, just to balance the um, sunset out and maybe added a bit of red to the left. And so that is my Osnat Zadok inspired seascape. So just to recap, the um, challenge this week is land and sea so landscapes forestscapes seascapes nautical themed pages and that kind of thing and the artists that we're using for inspiration this month are Monet Alfred Wallace Kurt Jackson Osnat Zadok and Wolf Kahn so go and have a look at their artwork if you just google the individual artists um, and then press images um, pictures of their artwork will come up and you can see you know whose particular style um, relates to you um, or floats your boat <laughs> excuse the pun so that's my finished calendar page for October and um, to go with the others that I've created here they all are I won't do a flip this month because you've seen them all before that was last month's calendar page so this will be added to them I just want to say that I have thoroughly enjoyed the challenges this month it's pushed me right out of my comfort zone but you know I've learned so many new techniques and it's just been an absolute joy seeing all of your fabulous artwork in the Facebook group um what a talented bunch of artists you are there's just been some amazing artwork absolutely wonderful to see so I hope you've enjoyed this week's video as always I'd really appreciate a thumbs up if you did because it just lets YouTube know that you like what I'm doing and let me know what you think in the comments below I shall be back next week with a brand new prompt for November but until then take care everyone and I'll see you all again soon bye for now <laughs>